air conditioning, heating, or indoor air quality issues at your home or business, call Fresh Air today. Let the experts take care of all your home comfort needs. Get a discounted $59 air conditioning tune-up when you mention you're a Skeeters fan. Leading off here against Steve Hammond is Alex Hudak. This one is a little bit inside, two balls and no strikes. Six, seven, and eight here against Hammond. Hudak, Brian Stubbe, and Brian Van Kurt. Hudak fifth in the league and hitting at 3 ET. But 2-0, this one a strike on the inside corner, 2-1. and one. He is second in both doubles and triples, five triples, 18 doubles. He is fourth in extra base hits with 28, and fourth also in slugging percentage at 521. Twenty is fouled over our heads. Two balls and two strikes here to Alex Hudak. Hudak is a guy that just likes to play the game. He was signed as an undrafted free agent by Kansas City. 12 season, but he's already played more games this year with Camden than either of his first two pro-affiliated systems told him he was a bench guy. The two, two high and tight, that'll run the count full. Three balls and two strikes. He does not want him to walk the leadoff batter here. The 3-2 swan in grounded foul. Mentioned in the first inning, Hammond has had problems with walks like Everett's has. He is fourth in the league in walks with 35. Last two outings for Hammond, his strikeout total has really risen. Seven Ks in both of the last two outings. The payoff pitch again here to Hudak. Swan and grounded foul off first. Count remains three and two. Last three starts for Hammond, no record for the 389 ERA. Just a hair above his overall ERA at 384. Excuse one, all three of those games. This one is swung and grounded foul at the plate. Going back five starts, the Skeeters have won all five of his last starts. He has gone at least five innings in all five of those starts. Three of them, however, were exactly five innings including last time out. Five innings, six hits, three runs, three walks, seven Ks, and a 5-4 win. Again, the 3-2. Swung on, popped up left side. Ramos and Scott both give it a look. We'll be back and out of play. We'll play Southern Maryland, then the Ducks, and then Somerset. Again, the payoff pitch. High ball four, so Hammond loses them on nine pitches. They haven't had as many of their pitching staff to give it up. First bit to Shreve is down low. One ball, no, ball to strike. No balls in one strike. Stands feet close together. Whatever. This one swan and right to Harbin. He's going to throw it to first. Just a little late. Good effort by Harbin. Uh, quickly one away. So one out, one out. Academy in Fort Lauderdale. Then he went to Royal Roberts University in Tulsa. This one is hit out to left field. Will Langerhans have a shot? He does. Oh, off of his mid. He's going to roll around. Let's see if they'll hold up the runner at third. They will. Great effort by Langerhans. Thought he was going to get to that one. It'll be a double, however, for Van Kirk. All the teams doing it here in the Atlantic League. It's peer pressure. If you do it, you'll be cool if you do it. This one is a strike. No balls in one strike to count. in here for Hammond. This one swan and missed. That went two. And Hammond really could use a strikeout here. Now originally from Bridgeport, Connecticut. Maybe he will be 
headed to the Bluefish to play one day. But he's not doing a good job here. And I've played your hometown, went to Florida Atlantic for four years. Going to Swan and found it out just behind home plate. Hit 373 his first year in Florida Atlantic. Ended by hitting 358. Pretty good college career. 305 overall, four home runs, 80 RBIs, and 201 games. Florida Atlantic University. This one swung on, popped up. Harbin calls for it. Big out here if he can bring it down, and he does. There's two away. So nice play. If he steps in, Harbin, very deep and short. This is Lemon in second. Old Ramos and Stavano about even with the bag at third and first. Check swing, but I think he went around there. He did over one to count. Pitched there by Hammond. He beat G20, the home run at 10 RBIs. Time for fourth and walks. Base percentage, stolen bases is the big one. 14 steals. He is fourth in the lead. Hill one by Hammond. This one way outside. One ball and one strike. See that Hammond throws a lot of pitches. A lot of times that's why he does not go deep in games. This percentage is great, at least here tonight. 35 pitches, 26 for strikes. Which is nine balls out of 35 pitches. The one one. This one is a strike down the middle, one and two to count. 14 out of 18 stolen bases is extremely good when you consider that he really doesn't have a good on base percentage and batting average is the start of that problem. Only 329 on base percentage and a batting average of 220. Imagine what he would be doing on bases if he could get on more often. And it looks at third and who that? You will kick can come home on the 1-2. One, one a little bit low, good idea, tried to get a key to chase here. 1-1 one, one here in the top half of the second. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, and two on. Hammond from the stretch. Let's see where they set up here. They're going to set up inside. This one is swung and fouled off to the right side. I had the right idea. Tried to jam him. He did, but he sent it up. The 2-2 two, two here from Hammond. This one is swung and fouled off to the right side again. Again, the 2-2 from Hammond. This one just a little low. The entire skeeter's infield and outfield took a step towards their dugout. If we can see that again or not, that was really close. Full count now on McPhee. Three balls and two strikes. Payoff pitch here by Hammond. Swung on a miss, strike three. Good job by Hammond. He got a pop out and a strikeout with runners on second.